the charge blade can pump out insane amounts of damage. My name is Cassius Kent and that's not even the broken thing about it. So the super amped elemental discharge is strong. It's not broken because you can't miss, but it's really strong. I think the broken thing about charge blade is the guard point. Guard pointing is just dumb, but that's not where I'm here. I'm here to talk about my charge blade build, the charge blade build that I've been using to get insane amount of damage and insane amount of time saved on my hunts. Like fighting a Theostra, for instance, it takes me about 15 minutes to fight any of the Elder Dragons, but with this build, it, I cut that time down to seven minutes. It's honestly my best time with Theostra. And I, I do attribute that to the build just pumping out insane amount of damage. So let's hop right into it. You're going to need the Nergigante Helm Alpha, Dobermail Beta, Kaiser Van Braces Beta, Nergigante Coil Beta, and Nergigante Grease Beta for the Charm, Artillery Charm 3. It's not as hard to make, get it up to 3. You do need a few gems. I think you need a Nergigante gem and a Anjanath gem. I'm not sure, sure about that, but I think you need you need at least one gem to make to get it up to its max level. It's not that hard, you know, fight... <laughs> Zora Magdalos a few times and you'll get there eventually. The weapon I'm using is the fully upgraded Diablos Charge Blade. It's the highest attack damage charge blade in the game and to, for that trade off it has negative affinity and very low sharpness. But sharpness doesn't really matter when you're pumping, when you're hitting elemental discharges. And the stats that this set gives me is attack boost 6, artillery plus 3, maximum might plus 3, weakness exploits plus 2, capacity boost, speed sharpening and all elemental boost. And a lot of those come from gems. You're gonna have to get lucky with gems. Most notably the Elementless gem, Ten Riser gem, and Magazine gem. Oh my god, the Magazine gem is is a uh, you gotta you gotta pray to every Elder God in the sky to get that because it's 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 a luck of the draw. You know, someone tried for 20 days before getting one, and I got mine just randomly off a hunt. I wasn't even looking for it honestly. But when I got it, I immediately made this set because it's just that good. It, the damage is insane and top notch. Ideally, you would have a protective polish gem and you would put the attack plus one in Nergigante Helm but I don't have protective polish so I have um, a grinder jewel instead which just reduces my sharpening time a little bit but with this set you can just just do damage as long as you're hitting your amped elemental discharges the quest will be over before you know it. it'll be over in the blink and now you can hit a thousand damage easy 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 with the amped elemental discharge and hopefully I've been running Bureau in the back with um, just me doing insane amounts of stupid damage to some monsters that you know give people trouble and I'm not gonna say that it makes it easy Er, it still needs, you still need to hit your amped elemental discharges, you can't just run in there super and then think you're just gonna land it, and obviously, you know, you, you, it, always, it all comes down to timing and spacing, and I'm a long time charge blade user, so I know where I can and can't amp elemental discharge. But my, my favorite thing, my low-key favorite thing about this set is that it doesn't have the <laughs> Dragon King eye patch, and it has three parts of Nair Gigante, which gives you a haste and recovery, which is like a, a mini heal on every hit. It's, it's nice. You know, you're not gonna notice it, but you're always gonna be topped off, which is which is also which is which is also which is always fun. You know, because some monsters, some of these tempered monsters will just absolutely one shot you, and passive regeneration is always nice. But yeah, this is my my charge blade build. Some some sets run focus. I don't really like focus on charge blades in general because it throws off my rhythm personally. For sure, the my towering I played all for you and a lot of generations with the charge blade, so I didn't have a focus. And I'm just used to that timing. The the time you, you the timing is noticeable. The the recharge rate is noticeable when you have focus, but it's not enough for me to say I'm gonna sacrifice a skill to have focus. If I had a, maybe um a few focus gems, for instance, I would I would gem that in. Um, if I had a streamstone for for charge blade, I would either get attack, affinity, or a slot to just add more skills to the set. But yeah, that's it. Uh, it does insane damage. You can see from the from the the, the monsters that I'm fighting, it's just it pumps out easily. If you hit all your your burst, a thousand damage easy. Even if you miss some of them, it's still the initial hit of the amped elements of discharge. It's like three hundred damage. That's two barrel bombs. What? That's crazy. But yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think about the set. Tell me what you think I can get used to improve the set. I did have three points of. Um, weakness exploit, but I don't find it absolutely necessary. I did have a weakness exploit ch um, charm at one point, but I didn't like it on the on the set, so I went for I opted for artillery instead. So yeah, tell me what you think about the set. Tell me if you could um if if there any, any other way outside of protective polish that I can improve the set. Um, tell me if you've been running a similar set. What what did you go with instead of you know the the near gigante set near gigante parts? But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Be sure to leave a like if the video was helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe for more Monster Hunter and everything else. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Good luck. Have a great hunt and may the Sapphire Star guide your way.